All right, and here we are, January 2024. We're going to now do a new thing. We're going to do art with Michelle Paul. The studio window is no more. The website's still there, but now it's Art with Michelle Paul. So welcome to our first podcast of Art with Michelle Paul. I'm Dave Hayes. And I'm Michelle Paul. And he hey, is- happy new year there, Dave. Happy new year, my bud. Yeah. Um, and you know, 2023 ended up, uh, in a kind of what the, uh, yeah. and just in case people don't know the Kennebec river flooded and you're on, well, the Kennebec river. Yeah. We're on, it's called front street, the part behind the studio here where we park and, here, and, and yeah, that is my parking lot, my parking and, space. There was my parking space. Yep. So all of that, and then we kind of pan over here, and that 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 water's not supposed to be there. No, no. So it got pretty high up, uh, almost to the uh, to your basement, right? It got in, in ten feet in the basement. Yeah, and look at it here. It got about two inches away from getting into the studio. And that's the wharf that you know, the what was once the wharf, right? It's underwater. A lot less trees. You know what? Even even from this pick here, when the actual all those are gone, Dave. Now, yeah, yeah, they all went down the river. Like th- um, the debris that's in those trees there, yeah, that you see is still there. It's like I don't know, twelve, fifteen feet up in those trees. And we just have some slides here. There's looking out is. from your deck, and look at that. It was that's just lots of junk there. Yeah. And uh, that's a, uh, it got higher now. It got, that's low, right? That was, yeah. Think- there's actually 13 steps and it got up to the very top one. The water was flowing yeah. through that last you have space 13 that you steps. see just before the deck. You have 13 steps. Yeah. That's like, you know, for, a and they were completely under. Like you have a gallows steps. I never <laughs> realized this before. I'm now a little weirded out, but it got up pretty high. And, here we go. Here's the water receding. And yeah, you know, there were once upon a time a lot of trees up there. Yeah, they're gone. <laughs> and now, so nature will have to. And then here's your poor basement. Yeah, some of the stuff had my basement. Some just, we, you know, we knew the flood was coming. So we put a lot of stuff up high, um, you know, but then you got your. You know, there's everything from chairs to buckets of paint and some canvases, but they were all at least eight feet up off the floor. But the water went to the very roof of this space that you're looking at right there. And so our um, oil tank, our furnace, everything was completely under 10, 12 feet of water. But we were lucky. I mean, some of these people that went into their shop and if you see the beginning, there's the uh, Michael Paul Artist Studio sign that you see in the front of the building. The water went up just to where you see the sidewalk, the the red bricks. And um, we escaped getting flooded, man. But I had, yeah, all the paintings were brought upstairs. Thankfully, we live upstairs. So we were able, Jonathan and I were able to bring all the paintings upstairs. So we didn't lose any paintings at all. So So, so that is all still there. Yeah, you know, just to remind people of what your <laughs> studio looks like, right? Reposition different ways. I'll show pictures eventually, but yes, everything's yeah. here. We got all of 2024 for that. Yeah. So, so hey, um, as we go into this, I think you know the first thing we talk about what's been going on, and then the big question, and this is one you might not be wanting necessarily. You know, oh, no pressure right. on you. What are you doing? Like, how are you making? the world humanity better well, off i took one part. of your photo i took one of your photographs with your permission of the lighthouse and that's the pemquit uh, lighthouse right yes there this is, is. Pemquit. so this is a photo i took and yep. um this photo it's okay uh it's uh every every photographer i think that goes to pemquit tries to get this reflection photo yeah right and I don't know. Let me see. It's, it's I'll good. just expand there. You see that you have the the reflection. All right. So that's always what I think. Every I've seen a lot of 
other photographers who do that and they um that's like the money shot right to get that reflection in there a lot of times is. it's foggy right. and cloudy and and so um that is uh presumably you know that's what you want to be doing um and the uh uh You've got now, and the thing is, though, you get the reflection there. The, the trouble is, honestly, my problem with this photo is there's just a lot more rock that I really want, and I really wish these things were bigger. Um, but let's see, you started in on it, right? I started so, painting it. There's yeah. a lot of rock going on. You're, and, you're having the same trouble I had. Yeah. Um, I mean, and, I like it. I love the picture i haven't really worked on the lighthouse much up there i'm trying to you know it was a little yeah. bit more to the left and then i realized it needed to be more to the right a little bit so i'm working on that but i've not worked on it since two weeks before the flood i mean it was the holidays we were getting ready for our christmas show and and um art from other artists so now yeah. it's going to be on the easel and that's what i'll be working on this week so it's a work in progress as you see here yeah. um I have no reflections in there because I'm still, you know, I haven't even done the water yet. But you're going to work I'm happy on with that, the rocks, yeah. Dave. But there's a lot of them. It's a lot of rock. <laughs> it's a lot of rock, right? Yeah. And so you know, just kind of flipping back and forth. You've got the basic oh. grammar there. Um, I think that, as oh, I yeah. always say, a Michelle Paul painting is like a Polaroid. When if you <laughs> see it, you know it. It seems like you get the whole canvas filled. And then it develops and you bring the colors in and you layer things on and you add details. And um, yeah, I'm working and, on it. Yeah. I'm and, anxious to see where I can take it. I'm going to leave the rocks as they are at the yeah. very top of the rocks where the green is, the grass and the lighthouse itself. Once I work on that and get the sky in there again and maybe work on the water, it'll help. I'm going to leave the rocks alone for the next yeah. viewing. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, it's a work in progress. I just, you know, I mean, you've got the advantage of you can adjust Ooh. things. You know, I'm stuck with, you know, first of all, yeah. here's Dave, right? Here's Dave That's walking so around on these rocks, crouching down you know, with my camera, trying to, trying to get this, and then waiting for the goddamn people to get out of the way. right? I still right, haven't been there yet. I've never it, seen this lighthouse well, in person, and well, I live here. I That's so sad. We go I, down a lot, I so we'll, we'll get go. you down there. Um, although that's that's like a, that, you know, it's down where you go to Monhegan from, right? It's just down the road from yep. that. But and uh, you, you're on me about that. Um, I know. Lori has just said, "The hell with it! I'll watch the dogs." You and Michelle Paul go. So, there you go. Um, but I guess my point though is that that uh, I almost, you know, in in you doing this. Um, you know, I kind of wish I could make the lighthouse and its reflection bigger. You know, that was my thing is, uh -oh. is you know, um, that was the problem. Although I kind of like your rocks. Your, I mean, your rocks are becoming, the rocks become the focal point here. And yeah, that crater right there in the that center. crater right <laughs> there. Once it's and, darker. Uh, the orifice in the rock. Um, I don't have a choice, but yeah. Um, but also well, you can Photoshop it, chop it up a little. Bit. Yeah, I don't do that. The only, the only thing I ever Photoshopped was uh, my uh, Osprey because in, in you know, you, you adjust the colors and background and the sky was just this washed out right. kind of overcast thing. So I actually Photoshopped the sky behind that when I made oh. my T-shirt. Um but I'm always like, this is a, you know, uh, otherwise I'm trying to, you know, trying not to lie too much. Although I want to get into doing montages and or some kind of collage thing. Um, right. And, and in fact, some inspiration from that comes from our art news, right? So yeah. if we move to our next moment here, right, um, uh, Ed, Kind of what's a bill, you know, talk, see what you're doing on the easel, right. art news. Um, in the future, I'd love to get art tips from you, you know, but that will we'll have to have better planned out. Um, let's talk about 
art from an improbable source. Sharon Stone, the actress, right? You know, uh, where where do we know Sharon Stone from? I mean, uh-huh. you know, the basic instinct, right? I mean, she's um, but Sharon Stone kind of famous for being kind of the sexy blonde actress. Well, she's an artist now, right? And Look here um, she has had an exhibit in Connecticut this past October, and she apparently started doing art during COVID. And so uh, we've got these things. And This is Amelia. Yeah, this one was done in 2023. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And then the second one, you and, and like I, I say, you that. have to read the titles for this. Me. Yeah, this is um, a state of affairs. Twenty twenty three. She's really getting abstracty here. Yeah. Um, and then something about the atmosphere. There is a beach in the atmosphere. Is this one right? Now, now, see, I don't do that, and I'm going to do some abstracts this year. Some something different. I want to try. I love that. Well, and, and, you know, my thing is, okay, there's this kind of abstract, and she has a few of these that are, they don't have a realistic element to them. Right. And then she does... It's called this. the lantern. Oh, that's cool. Right. And so, you know, my thing is, I'm trying to understand what can be done, especially with the photography, right? You know, because... Right. It's great to take a picture of the Kennebec, but it's just one picture. It's like, can I bring elements together? And kind of like you got a flower here. And Her flower is really nice. Yeah. And, and this is the, uh, 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 if, if we had one of the Castell sisters here, they'd be able to tell us the, uh, the technical term when you have uh, uh, a realistic element along with a uh, abstract. I wonder how they fared in Gardner. I don't even know. But anyways, that's something to. No, we should check in with them. Yeah. Castell and Castell Gallery. They tend to close at this time of year. This time of year. Yeah. smart. And they open in April again. But but I think what's interesting is this is legit artwork. Like Sharon Stone is doing this, and I'm very impressed by that. And I Mm -hmm. think it's kind of cool. She's older. Uh, She had COVID, you know, and she's about, you know, in her 60s and and mm-hmm. then had COVID and was able to express herself. Does it sound familiar? I, yeah, I it yeah, really does. Familiar, right? You, you this is started. crazy. Yeah, because that's how we started. And look at Kelly, one of the other artists that's in here. Basically, COVID gave us the opportunity. We were lucky enough that we could just paint, you know? Yeah. And that's what I did. That's where I did a little, couple of my larger ones that have sold. But um, yeah, you know, I love that. That's really, really cool. Yeah, and, and she's I got think- a famous name. You know what? The thing is, is they. I, I mean this in the nicest of ways. They can sell their art while they're still here. People are just going to buy her stuff right up because who doesn't know Sharon Stone, right? Yeah. So I mean, that's a plus for them. And, um, and we're going to rush in and say that this is good art. Like they should yeah. buy it. But right. And, and I think the point is, there's a lot of good art. There is. There. And there's a lot of things that should be bought. And so she gets a little leg up. That's fine. And uh, uh, it will just say she's she's gotten enough of the male gaze in her life that she deserves to be recognized. I she think, does. For, uh, uh, and that's why I didn't have a picture of, you know, I, I, I thought of having a picture of her now. And I'm just kind of like, hey, no, this is what you need to know about Sharon Stone. Right. And, and I'm, well, I just saw a picture of her and she looks amazing. She's one of these that's growing, you know, getting old gracefully. And she looks amazing. I just saw a quick interview about her basic instinct movie and how Michael made uh, like $14 million and she was only paid 500,000 for that movie. Mm. And, um, and that's still happening today. She says that she's being offered like 500,000. And so anyways, I just, she looked great and, um, and I love her art and I wish her the best of luck. Keep painting, so. Sharon. This is great. Yeah. So I thought that was just interesting. And so I think, you know, we want to we want to always just look out and and I think we want to consider these these elements of to because abstraction is cool. Like I don't do abstract because I'm a photographer, right? So um but uh being able to play with it and, and incorporate elements uh 
I think was really cool. But okay, well, you know, it's good to catch up with you. Yeah, it is. And uh, we we brought this puppy in for a landing at a reasonable time span. Oh, no. Nice. And I think this is what we want to do as we go forward, have these things. But I think we want to have more of you next time. I think we want to get a, a, a how-to, a little some how-to tips. Oh, from, okay. Uh, I, need to, <laughs> I don't even know how to. I just do, you know. I, maybe I should well, just do a short video of me starting a new painting or something. So maybe, can, like, yeah. And, my process and, uh, or that. maybe i'll maybe i'll pull up some of that footage of that paint party oh yeah we can talk about that you know and, and what's going on because you do a great job of getting people to 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 put stuff on the canvas and 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 uh that's fun for me that's the fun part you know i really yeah. enjoy that and i'll see you in a couple of weeks anyways right you're coming up yes as nice. we will i'll be working on the uh martha ballard you know because nice. uh that book, The Frozen River, came out about Martha Ballard, the midwife. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm hoping that book takes off. But uh, I'm going to go out and try to to get a, there's a walking tour. And mm -hmm. so, you know, January, February. My thing is I need it to, to, to I don't need it to be cold because I'm taking photographs. Right. I need it to look cold, which means it probably will be cold. Right. <laughs> well, it's been a weird winter. As you know, we've had no snow. We, there is nothing out there right now. And now they're saying about eight so, inches up here tomorrow yeah, during I think you're Sunday. About to get it. But then yeah. next Wednesday, rain and 50 again. And the river does not need that because it's no, been a no, mess. It doesn't. But I, I'm going to try to get uh, try to get some of that stuff and do okay. some things along those lines. Uh, for my own separate thing, my On the Kennebec uh, series that I'm, right. that I'm working on. So, All right. Well, okay. as always... Good catching up with you, and I hope uh, you guys put things back, you know, and get some help from folks from the yeah, state. Yeah, well, we were lucky. We didn't lose any art, and that was my main concern. So thanks, Dave, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Yeah. So happy New Year, everyone. You too, my friend.